Now we welcome in Kia Nurse, teammate of Brittany Griner with the Phoenix Mercury. Kia, I want to start here. What went through your mind when you heard that Brittany Griner was headed home? Well, a lot of happiness. I was uh, just on a flight out here to New York City, and the moment I got the news, my flight was taking off. So um, didn't have the opportunity to talk to anybody else because my phone was offline, but so excited for BG, so excited for Sherelle to be able to reunite with her and um, just a, a a joy and a relief moment as well um, that she is safe and sound. I imagine that that plane ride felt a little bit long as you then touched down and then were flooded with messages. Uh, but you joined Brittany and the Mercury in 2021. C can you take us inside the Mercury during these last several months and, and how you all ended up rallying together in support for Brittany? Well, from the moment that this season started, uh, we knew it was going to be extremely tough. And just because there are so many of us on the team who know Brittany and have gotten to know her over a number of years and we're good friends. And so um, I found myself at times during the season just kind of sitting down and thinking, what is she doing right now? Is she OK? Is she safe? Does she know that we are advocating for her and that we're fighting for her? And so as a team, we tried to do everything that we could possibly do to continue her work in the community with the heart and soul shoe drive. Um, to continue to remind people to keep her name in the forefront and talk about the character and who she is so that people understood that she is more than a basketball player and she is our sister and she is our friend. Um, and it was difficult throughout the season. We played a whole season without one of our sisters and one of our teammates, and um, it's hard to put into words how hard that was. And Kia is more than a basketball player herself. She's one of the broadcast stars. I'm so proud yes, of you, TSN. Kia. Uh, you know, up north with TSN. And I, I just, you know, for me, the most moving part this morning was waking up and watching the news and seeing Sherelle, uh, President Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, you know, having this press conference in the White House. What did you take away from those visuals and also what was being said? Well, I think it's powerful, right? If we look at, you know, what has gone on over this last nine months, and I can't even imagine what Sherelle and BG's family have gone through, um, what BG has gone through herself, and to look at the power and the resilience and the strength from these women and their ability to get through this to what it is, and then look at the power of the, the word and what we were able to do as a collective. I think the WNBA is one of the most powerful leagues, and we know as a collective how powerful our voice can be, and continuing to raise the awareness for our sister in this situation was a big part of that. A lot of people, a lot of different people had a hand in this and making it um, to the point where now she is back home and safe. But I do think that there was a big piece of the voice of a collective WNBA who continues each and every day to prove and remind people that we are powerful. And this is just another reminder of that. The, the collective power of the WNBA has been on full display throughout this. Kia, I'm curious, do you have a, a story that you could share about Brittany that, that illustrates, that shows what type of teammate, what type of friend that she is to you? Yeah, so when I got traded uh, to the Phoenix Mercury, you know, you, you, everybody knows, you move teams, somebody's going to say, hi, welcome to the team, it's so nice to meet you, you know, send a text message. I got a random text message from a phone number, and it actually was a video, and it was BG, and she was just sitting in her car, and she's like, welcome to Phoenix, we're so excited to have you. Um, you know, she went out of her way to do that, and it kind of gave me an insight as to who she was, just the energy that she brings, the spirit that she has. And it was almost like every single interaction that I've had with BG since I've gotten to Phoenix has been such a positive interaction. It's just a laugh or it's a good time. And it just kind of speaks to how she doesn't really have a bad day. We walk in the locker room before the game and I would come in, you know, it'd be BG in there and probably DT are the first ones there. And it's just, hey, ready to have a game, good game today? Let's play well. And anytime I was down as a young player, she came and picked me up. So never had a, a negative interaction with BG and it speaks to who she is. She's just a fun spirit to be around at all days. She's been that, that light for you. And now that she is heading home, what do you want to say to her first? What do you see your role as in making sure that you can do that for her? Well, welcome home, first and foremost. We missed you so much. We love you so much. Um, I would go in for a big hug. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> Those are always some of the best hugs BG gives them. And so just saying, you know, we are, are grateful to have you back. We missed you. Um, you know, I don't think any of us will ever take for granted having the opportunity to play with some incredible teammates and some incredible humans. Um, I have no questions about basketball, none of that. I just want to make sure that you're good and we can just sit and hang and have a good time. Kia, thank you so much for spending some time with us here on NBA Today. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.